I always like maps. I oh, love too. I love maps. And I my, love the book. My daughter me. was so bright, and yet geography was always her. <laughs> oh, I love geography. <laughs> yeah. I did. Yeah. She would, she could choose. Totally right, but she hated geography oh, so for some reason. No. I'm like, you got to get out of Dubuque, and then yeah. you learn yeah. and start traveling more. But. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's still she, in Korea? My son is in oh, Korea, son. Oh. yes. Oh, your son, not your daughter. No, my daughter lives here. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. She works, she's in banking. Um, she just got engaged on her 29th birthday. Oh. Mar on St. Congratulations. Day. Yeah, we're very happy. We like him a lot. So, yep, she was 29. So, that's a nice age. Next year, sometime. We haven't found a venue still. <laughs> but, um, Would you like to invite yeah. us to, to the yeah. party? Yeah. You have to meet her first. <laughs> this is her part, you know? Yeah. <laughs> In Vietnam, people can, the parents can invite their friends to their children's wedding. Yeah. Yes, well, oh, well we, we will invite a few friends, but they have to have some relationship to her. Mm -hmm. We don't just, like, I'm not going to make her come, and, you know, a gift, because she doesn't even know my daughter, mm -hmm. where she knows my daughter, but <laughs> we'll see, I don't know, but no. Um, so how old are you? I'm uh, 35. 35? Yes. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> she looks younger. I see the right? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say 24. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so wow. Been out of university Beautiful for a while. Uh, <laughs> I, I just uh, changed my job recently. I have been there for one year. Yeah. Oh. Uh, before that, I was an editor for a magazine. Oh. Yeah. And did you grow up in Ho Chi Minh City? Uh, I grew up in the central oh. of Vietnam. Yeah. Central of Vietnam. Yeah. Oh. And I just go to Ho Chi Minh City for the university. I see. Yes. Yeah, and then I stay at there. And so you? Uh, I was turned 28. Last 28th April. Oh, oh see, I was younger. Yeah. Yeah. No, you look young too. 28th of April? Yeah. Just a couple days ago? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nothing yeah. like this. Uh, <laughs> no, it's freezing yes. for us. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. And what do you do? I work for the government, uh, especially mm -hmm. in the agriculture office. Agriculture. Oh, oh, oh well, nice. That's why I have a car. I, oh I yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's uh -huh. me. Yeah. She sells the corn. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The corn pencils, corn. It will be ready. Best in corn. The Everybody loves. It's only this big. <laughs> Yeah, but that's why we came to Dubuque yeah. for farm. For farming. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. I forgot Lots of farming. I was working farming. in a cocoa. Cocoa is like a chocolate tree. Yes, cocoa. Yes, oh, yeah. oh uh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I do the research about the environment, how to protect the cocoa from the climate change threat. Yeah. And also reduce deforestation from uh, cocoa. The no. yeah. yes. and what do you do for a living? Um, I, I am teaching. Oh, yeah, a teacher! And, uh, I come here because I want to uh, learn more about uh, climate change communication. Yeah. Good for you. My son is a teacher in Colorado. Uh -huh. He teaches physics and biology to high school students. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Oh. And my and his wife is a nurse practitioner, which is right below the doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then my my other daughter uh, is married to a farmer. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. So oh we love the farm. We go out there and she's got a two year old son and he is just mm -hmm. I just love him. Mm -hmm. And uh, she works for a medical place and uh, um, Mike loves the farm but he has another job besides that. But mm -hmm. He loves to be on the tractor, and so does my two-year-old. <laughs> what is his other job? Ah, uh, Geezy Sheet Metal. He works oh, for Geezy Sheet Metal. It's all dealing with uh, copper, metals, and, you know, making things, and, yeah. So, yeah, he's, uh, they've been married nine years now, so every time I get a chance to go out to the farm, I love it. <laughs> I keep saying, Let's go out and buy a duck. <laughs> That's not, I mean, they have their own cattle. They bring in, they let it graze out in the yard, but they use that as their meat. They do make their own, you know, packaging, and they do everything right there, you know. That was hard for my daughter to, you know, witness that, but best meat you ever ate, you know. So. The farmer here only can uh, grow at the corn only during the, the spring to the summer? Yes. Uh, what about the uh, fall? Yeah. Yeah. Or, the or what now? Yeah. Winter or, or The other season. The autumn, winter, yes. it, no, there's not much action at all. Okay. And, um, I mean, I can't think of, you know, Carol would be a good one to answer mm -hmm. that, but there's not much action going on when you mm -hmm. have yeah, winter. So we can say your land will be empty during the these two seasons. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then when spring comes around, uh -huh. Mike can't wait to get on that track <laughs> and go out there. Uh -huh. His dad and mother live like a hundred feet away from him, so his dad and mom uh, have been farmers for all of those years. But it they just, it's in their blood. It's like they just love it, you mm -hmm. know. It's nothing like being out in the field and feeling that dirt in your hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so. So what actually the farmers do during the winter and also the, the autumn? Well, I worked at John Deere mm -hmm. for 32 years, and most of those guys had farms on the side. Mm -hmm. They would work at the factory, okay. and then they would go home and tend to their farms. Mm -hmm. So they had two jobs. Mm -hmm. okay. So there's a lot of them out there. I don't know if they had dairy dairy cattle, and mm -hmm. they would have to take care of that course of the mm -hmm. wintertime. Okay. But the farmers that grow things would almost have to have a part-time job, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. where, like, maybe construction. Okay. Maybe they go out and find a job in construction, mm -hmm. you know? Or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Winter is kinda you know, we can't wait mm -hmm. until the flowers come yeah. out. Yeah. Because <laughs> we love it, yeah. yeah. So. so most of the uh, residents in Dubuque here works as uh, in the industry or well 
<clears throat> the John Deere Dubuque Works here in Dubuque is probably one of the major companies that hire, you know, a lot of employees that are working there. Oh. We have uh, a lot of technology. Mm -hmm. um, there's uh, oh, upholstery. Uh, there's a little bit of everything in Dubuque, you know. Mm -hmm. Have you gone down to the district downtown where the old, old buildings? Yeah, yeah, we just yeah, passed yeah, yeah. yesterday. We're made it to, that's something else. That, that used to be, I used to live down there in Central. Uh -huh. And now they're taking the old buildings and remaking them and making them look for good for tourists. You know. yeah. Yeah. Another, have you gone to the, oh, the, the Marine um, for the, uh, oh, Phyllis, what's the name of that place downtown for, uh, I'm thinking, <laughs> you forgot it. Uh, the aquarium. Oh. The fish. Aquarium. Oh, aquarium. Ah, it is yeah. close to our hotel. The oh, museum. You have to go see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That they they add something new every year. There's something. I think they have a crocodile now. Oh, crocodile. And crocs. You know? mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, that's thought, very interesting. It is already in on the list. I mean, like. Uh, on the schedule. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Good. It good. go to the museum, also aquarium. Mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah. We got a lot of monuments, like Julian Dubuque. Great. Julian Dubuque was the one that founded Dubuque. Yeah. He's a Frenchman, and his grave site is up on the hill, mm -hmm. that direction, mm -hmm. way up by the Mississippi River. Mm -hmm. okay. well, that's another, another thing to see. Are you going on a boat ride by chance? Uh, in where? Uh, here on the Mississippi, are you going on a boat ride or? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, okay. because uh, English schedule. There is no. There is a boat. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, only canoeing. Canoeing. Yeah, yeah. Canoeing, but we're not pretty sure. How about Eagle Point Park? Yeah. Yeah. We will go there. Oh, Eagle yeah. Point Park. Yeah. Oh. It's the most beautiful place. Yeah. Yeah. It overlooks the whole Mississippi River in oh, the yeah. Rock and Dam. Uh -huh. yeah. I think it we're going to go tomorrow for Eagle Point. Oh, I hope yeah. it's good weather. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. 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 Uh, now, when do you leave Dubuque? Hmm? When do you leave Dubuque? May, uh, May 27th. 27th, right? Yeah. Oh, you have lots of nice warm weather coming up yet. Yeah. Yes. I think at the end of this week, it's supposed to be 59, 60. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. that'll be... Yeah. 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 jacket or something like that? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. So what a hotel are you staying in? The Grand Hotel. Yeah, the Grand Hotel. The oh, the okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. Nice. Yes. That's nice. Yeah. They can see the Mississippi from his... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> from my window, I can... See the Mississippi River. That's wonderful. Oh, yes, it's wonderful. Yeah. We had, used to have a houseboat yeah. years and years ago when my kids were like uh, eight and ten, and we had this 32 foot houseboat. Okay. And we would take it out every weekend and go up to the sandbar. And, you know, How is it? Beautiful, you know. <laughs> we, we were on the river probably. Off and on, 12 years with different boats, mm -hmm. and then um, that after a while it gets to be a lot of work because I was working at John Deere, mm -hmm. and then, then you have two houses to clean. <laughs> so <laughs> where know? do you live? Do you live around here? I live over on Core Drive, which is near Northwest Arterial Road, mm -hmm. right off the highway. If you know where Walmart or uh -huh. um, uh, it's right around that area. Yeah. I have a dog. I'm, I've been divorced for 20, oh, 23 years now. I have. Uh, I was married to a deputy sheriff for 16 years, and then we're still good friends. You know, we're, okay. we're still good friends. And uh, my kids are 39, 39, 37. <laughs> I know. My son, when he turned 39, was like. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, because next year is going to be the magic number, you know, yeah. going to be something special. 40? Yeah, yeah. Life so, begins 40. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. 
No. Two years. Two years more. So, um, yes, I, I, I'm very blessed with what I have, you know, so. Yeah. You should. I live home with, I have a dog. His name is Casper. He's Casper. It's like the ghost. He's, Casper. he's yes. white. He's wow, white. He wow. looks, he's That's a Westie, West, West Highland Terrier. I don't know if you ever saw one, but uh, he's, a, he, he's 15 years old now. So. Oh, wow. 15. Yeah, 15. Yeah. Yeah, he's very strong, though. He's, okay. he's a good dog. Uh, yeah. And do you live uh, with your dog? Yeah. yeah, I'm in the... I'm in like a, it's called a townhouse, uh -huh. so with a garage, and then I have a neighbor attached to me with another garage and a building right next to it, uh, Gladys and Bob, and they're an older couple, nice, mm -hmm. you know, it's a nice little quiet area, you know, and I like it, and I have a beautiful garden. <laughs> I love the garden. I love the plant flowers. I love the yes. We have the seed garden. Yeah. Oh yes, you come over anytime you want. Okay. I'll show you my garden. Okay. Yeah, you can sit out on the deck. Maybe you can get the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you often have the barbecue in the garden? Oh yes. Oh yes. Yeah. Barbecues. Yeah. Be nice. You like yeah. barbecues? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You like hamburgers? Hamburgers? Yes. Uh, steak.